மறக்காம சர்பிரைஸ் பண்ணுங்க थैंक यू so i have chosen to start with the less known possibilities for black and then uh, i will end up with showing the best defenses but for now it's still not the best defense after knight f6 and e3 i believe the best defense here is to play c5 uh we will come back to that move now we will look at the move g6 and just to make it clear we have already looked at developing the bishop on c8 to either f5 or g4 and we found out that this does not give black an easy life also to move the e pawn here to e6 and develop the bishop over e7 keeping the bishop c8 behind his pawn structure does not give black an easy game and uh, to put up a passive strategy with the move c6 uh, and just develop the bishop outside the pawn uh, chain does not give black an easy life so how is it with black going into g6 playing the greenfield indian does that give black an easy life i don't think so and uh, i was even surprised myself when i started to analyze this uh, setup so after knight f3 and bishop g7 i think the bishop belongs on e2 and uh, this is the conclusion i came to after analyzing a lot and uh, i mean uh, you have to believe me or go and analyze yourself here uh castle short is the most normal but of course we always need to know how to react if black starts to uh, attacking our bishop on f4 we don't like to move it back to g3 allowing black to capture it because uh, it doesn't give white anything but a solid position and uh, chess is not just about playing solid positions it's also about getting the initiative and trying to win especially with white So here we must play bishop g5 if we want to attack and uh, after h6 bishop h4 and g5 black he wants white to move his bishop back to to g3 and then to capture the bishop and then of course black has weakened his pawn structure on the king side but it's not serious and white can't really make use of it so that's the reason why after g5 we don't move the bishop back to g3 yet but play knight e5 Let's look at the different possibilities that uh, Black has here. If he capture our bishop, then uh, yeah, there could be the same story. If he capture our knight first, and then capture our bishop, uh, then we would have the same story as in the game. So let's say he now in this position capture our bishop, we capture his knight, and then our knight on e5 is simply too dangerous. Uh, t- attacking f7 so black has to exchange it but this position here is a lot better for white it doesn't look of much but it is after bishop e6 white can just play queen e2 this queen can later move to b5 and uh, the idea is simply that uh, white wants to castle long and then the rook is on the same file as the black queen and uh, after castle long and f4 uh, then um, white has a clear advantage it's very difficult position for black and if black is capturing our pawn and we attack it it has to move and castle long then the computer say winning position for white So this is the way you can win your next game if uh, black is so friendly to move into this. So you see this uh, active maneuver with knight h5 trying to get our bishop doesn't help him at all uh black. And even you know after uh, bishop g5 knight e5 here even after knight f4 uh this is not the position knight f4 in this position then uh, it doesn't help him either because we can play knight c3 with a clear advantage look at this knight on e5 how strong is it it is extremely strong and then of course black's pawn structure uh, has also been weakened so this is clear advantage again bobby fisher i'm sure would say winning position 
castle short i'm not a bobby fisher i'm just a small pawn but i'm doing my best and that's the only thing we can do isn't it so after castle short white does the same and then we need to look at the best move c5 but before let's look at bishop g4 what is bishop g4 good for absolutely nothing as they sing in this famous song so uh, h3 and bishop uh, capture on f3 doesn't give black uh, nothing it gives black nothing sorry because white will come with his c4 and he needs to come with the c4 again to push uh, black this is a better position for white he has the bishop pair and space and if uh, black was to play b6 then it's too passive for me to play c3 and knight b to d2 no we go for the initiative this is the point playing chess and after bishop b7 and knight c3 we are a bit better if now black wants to play knight h5 in this position then again we do not just allow him to capture our bishop we play knight e5 and after knight f6 he will get our bishop but by doing so he will lose a lot of time and he has also weakened his pawn structure and if now he exchanges then uh, he did not manage to keep his center and we will be able to play rook c1 and a small advantage the bishop on g7 is not a strong piece and i believe white is better here so after castle short the best is c5 then we play c3 and uh, if now he goes for our bishop on f4, I was, uh, I experienced this in, in Germany. I played a Danish international master, Stefan Petersen, and uh, he played a similar maneuver. I could capture on b8 and then I could capture on c5. And I, uh, later he was lucky to get away with a draw. Here, uh, there is nothing better for black than to move back to f6 with his knight, but immediately white can attack the pawn on a7 and it's difficult to see how black is going to get that pawn back at least uh, white has no weaknesses and he's a pawn up so uh, probably uh, if he capture now uh, black on d4 then we should capture back with the e pawn uh, you know the move knight c6 and knight b d2 is the starting position for this system and that's uh, the subject of next video if we now capture on d4 then we are some somehow in the exchange system exchange system in the uh, kaioken and that's of course another subject but let's just start here with the move number uh, one e4 and then i just want to mention that if he capture on d4 now we have a position with opposite colors again and this is uh, this type position uh, that you will get if black is capturing on d4 in this position here and actually, we are in one of the lines in this Kaokan exchange variation system. And uh, here black uh, can go after our bishop. That's the most normal move to do. Or he can play bishop f5. But I somehow, I like, uh, I like to play uh, white in those type positions here. And uh, the, the, you know, here is a double attack. Again, you see the queen attacking b7 and d5 so this queen b3 move is very important in this bishop f4 uh, london system after rook b6 and capture on b2 yes he did get back the pawn but white is much more active and if you ask the computer you will hear clear advantage where to put the rook that's the problem the rook on b2 has a difficult life now so knight b to d2 the main move is knight h5 we put the bishop back to e3 and rook e1 just normal moves and after bishop b5 uh, a6 capture capture we will get a pawn on e7 and why does do why do uh, black allow that i don't understand so maybe the knight back to h5 is stronger and this type position here is again a bit better for white i had uh, also a game in danish league against um nikolai peterson a strong international master and uh, i had an advantage with white but i didn't succeed to win it it was later a draw 
but anyhow, I think uh, white can be satisfied, and I think black has not totally um, equalized. At least uh, you have uh, material here for a fighting game. Thank you.